Uh, everybody, it's Deacon, the Velvet Voice. Can't you see it? I mean, it's on the screen. If it's on the screen, it's got to be true, right? Um, anyway, it's me. It's back. I'm back. And uh, I told you I'd be back from earlier. I had a video that briefly looked at the October update for the Xbox One. Now I'm going to do something a little bit more in-depth. Uh, hopefully this video won't take too long, so I'm going to sort of, sort of kind of breeze through it. So bear with me. It's going to go really, really fast. Number one, this device is an accessory section in your settings. You're, you're going to be able to easily assign, or more easily I should say, assign controllers and accessories to people that are inside your household. And, and one cool thing, addition to this particular feature, is the ability to find your controller. I mean, we all lose our controllers, right? Right? Everybody loses it. I mean, don't you? So whenever you go to find and you select that, it'll, it'll actually vibrate the controller. So obviously, hopefully you're somewhere that, that the controller uh, is near you so you can see it vibrate and I went over the friends tab I'm not gonna go over that real quick but uh, the friends tab does replace that little panel that you used to see when you came to home and you saw your game score and everything like that so that is no longer going to be available once you get your October update it will be replaced with the friends tab and again all the friends tab does is give you a quick overview of what people are doing You've got a leaderboard, you can brag with your friends, hey, everybody's beating me, I'm pathetic at 23. I don't even know what that leaderboard is doing, man, but my showing is pretty pathetic. But you know what? I have quite a few friends, so number 23 out of those friends. Anyway, uh, another feature which I think most people will appreciate, the people who are uh, OCD out there anyway, uh, remember when you uninstall something on your console, like whether that be a game, or, or an app or whatever, it used to come here and you, oh my god, I'm looking at these things and I want these things to go away. Well, they've actually given you uh, the option to hide those things now. So you can go and check out that, that those things that are in your ready to install area and you can hide it from this list. So if you no longer want to see it, you just click hide from the list. Hide from this list from ready to install. Yes, hide it. Bam. And it'll go away. Now, in order to get that back, you'd have to go back into the store and install it right away so you lose a, a quick look I guess a quick access to it if you want to get back to it but I thought that was a really cool feature for those of you who have OCD and you want those things to go away so you can now hide those just hit the menu button and I think I briefly went over the snap features and uh, what you do um, if you want to snap an app you snap an app and then you get those things let me just move the camera over a little bit so you get those things right and they're snapped and what I think is really cool is the overlay that they've added that I didn't go over this morning. So if you double tap the home button, oh, not like that, go back. Let's see. If you're in a Snap app and you quickly double tap, you'll get this thing, which is the Snap Overview. Now, I've got to caution you that whenever you make a selection, it's going to do it. So you don't have, you, you can't select it. You just have to go there, right? So if I want to unsnap this, I just hit down on the left stick and then it unsnaps. Double tap brings it back up. Double tap brings up the overlay. You can go to My Games and App. You can snap into the wrap. You can snap. So that's just a quick, uh, I guess, menu for you to get to your snapped function really quickly. And I think that's really cool, man. That's, you know, if you don't want to go all the way back to home, if you don't want to just say Xbox and then, you know, unsnap whatever it is, then, then you could do that, right? So that's pretty cool. And I think that is it. And you know, as you, I haven't said a lot of Xbox commands because I don't want to control your consoles with this video. I, I, I did that purposely. So uh, I didn't say a lot of Xbox stuff because the people were <laughs> emailing me, hey man, we love your videos, but you're controlling our Xboxes. So I'm not going to do that anymore. Or try not to do it. But uh, those are a few features of the October update. Um, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoy it. It should be hitting your consoles, I, I would imagine, this month. And that's a little scroll thing I was talking about up there. It just scrolls through your game and score and all that good stuff. And uh, that's it, man. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter.